Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be trying out a different drugstore brand that I don't think I've tried before. I think I've maybe tried one thing, which is their cream bronzer. I'm pretty sure the cream bronzer is the one that I was using consistently there for a little bit before I like tried out a bunch of different new products. So I'm gonna have to find that and double check, but it is the cream shop. So I went to CVS and they had this line in stores and I decided to pick up quite a bit of stuff because they had a lot. They didn't have eyeshadows or anything like that. So this is mainly face products, brows, lips, highlighters, you know all of that but hopefully you guys still enjoy it so it's not really eyeshadow focus it's definitely more face focus but we have pretty much everything from like BB creams to primers concealers all that kind of stuff so that is what today's video is going to be on I hope you guys are excited about it I also have this whole extra bag left with a bunch of different stuff in here that I have not tried so I just want to try out a bunch of different drugstore makeup I love drugstore makeup I feel like it's hard to dislike drugstore makeup because they really stepped it up the past like what five years those first five years were a little rough but we made it and we're here and we got some good products so anyways if you guys are interested in seeing how this brand works for me then definitely Definitely keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and also hit that post notification bell that way you're notified every time I upload a video yeah let's just go ahead and hop on into it All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna start out with is the primer, and this is the Cream Shop It's About Time Crease. Oh wait, I didn't get a face primer? No! Okay, so this is an eyeshadow primer. Since I didn't buy a primer like I thought I did, I'm just gonna prime on my regular primers, and that way, you know, it's probably a good thing we can see how well everything performs, and if it's like good or not with my regular routine. So I am just going to use my Smashbox Primer Water and then the Tatcha Salt Canvas Primer. So now we're gonna go in with the BB cream. <laughs> so this is the, the Cream Shop BB cream, full coverage, hydration, age defense, SPF 30 is what it said. So I have medium and tan, it says it's made in Korea. It says it conceals imperfections without thickness or heaviness of traditional foundations. It's moisturizing formula reveals healthy glowing complexion. A little nervous about that, but hopefully we'll be okay. And then it says anti-aging ingredients help diminish appearance of lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and then of course SPF 30, which is great. And you can apply by hand, brush, or sponge build for stronger coverage. That's what it looks like right there. We're just gonna see what these colors look like. I feel like they're so different <laughs> that I was like, uh, I have no idea. Also trying to find makeup that wasn't tampered with in CVS was like an actual job. It was ridiculous. So if you're one of those people opening lipsticks in the drugstore, can you stop please? Some of us wanna buy it, but not when you tamper with it. <laughs> I like the bottle. It's like a little squeezy tube bottle. All right, so we have medium, and tan. They look very, very different. So I, I think I'm gonna mix a little bit. I'm truly not sure. I'm gonna go in with more medium than tan. So I'll just take this and mix a little bit of the tan in there. Oh yeah, medium definitely looks quite a bit lighter once you kind of spread it out. And then I'm just gonna apply one side with my finger and then take my sponge and we're just gonna stamp this out. So again, this does have SPF. It's supposed to be full coverage, which it looks pretty dang good right now. And it does feel very lightweight. It feels cooling too, in a way. I mean, the beauty sponge is cooling, but to me, I feel like it's really cooling and just like feels good on the skin. Wow, I actually like that. More than I really thought I would. When I see BB creams, I don't normally go for them because I like, of course, full coverage. <laughs> but I do really like this. I think I have a little bit of redness peeking through here for sure since my rosacea is like super pigmented in that area. But everything else looks really nice. Like the skin looks really pretty. And then I'm gonna try the other side with a brush. So I'm gonna be taking the It Cosmetics for Ulta brush. I'm gonna put this on this side. So again, I'm gonna kind of stamp it and work it into my skin. I'm not a buffer. You guys know that if you've been following me. I think I like the sponge better. I just, I think I like the finish a little bit better. I feel like it looks a little bit more like skin. So I'm gonna take my sponge and just dab this out, really sink it into the skin. It's also like a nice experience blending all of this in with the sponge. It just feels so good on the skin. I'm gonna hit my nose real quick. I don't want it to get like red throughout the day because I actually need this stuff to last me like all day. It definitely does give you a glow for sure, but I definitely like the sponge side better. And it is pretty lightweight for how full coverage it is. So for concealer, we have the Cover Story Full Coverage Concealer. It says it's a buildable formula, conceals dark circles, discoloration, and uneven skin tone, doesn't cake. The cream shop is not a bakery. <laughs> Uh, okay, all right, well, we'll try it out. I have the shade Light and it's a magic wand application. Don't know what that means, but it says it right here on the side. I need to know if any of you have tried out this brand. Let me know and I wanna know what your favorites are. 
So this is the packaging. Also, price range for this stuff. The concealer is $11.99, the BB cream $17.99, which I don't think is terrible. I don't know, I feel like it could be a little bit more affordable, but I mean, it is made in Korea, so. At first you would think it's a squeezy tube, but it does have the wand, like it says. So I'm just going to apply this like I normally would. So curious to see how full coverage this is. All right, again, taking my sponge and just blending this out. Let's hope this is a really good concealer. Yeah, definitely not full coverage. I think this is more medium. Yeah, I don't love that. I don't, I don't love that. It's not very good. <laughs> it blends pretty easily, but if you like medium coverage, this will be it for you. If you like super full coverage, have like dark circles to cover, I wouldn't use this one. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of my own concealer to this since I need this to like last and look good all day. I'm just gonna use this Benefit Boing concealer really quickly and just kind of add a little bit right in here where I feel like I need some more coverage. And I think the center of the face is pretty much fine. I don't think we really need too much in there. Tomorrow we have Mason's Easter minis and I'm so excited. So it's like a mini session to get their photos done with like a cute Easter setup and I'm just like incredibly pumped. He's gonna look so cute. I have like little outfits for him and it's just gonna be adorable. I got him some shoes for Amazon though and it says they were delivered but I haven't seen them yet so I'm like a little nervous on where they could be. I'm hoping. They're in my mailbox because I I'm like really bad about checking my mailbox because our mailbox isn't like right here It's in a like a lock box type thing. It's not like in front of our house So that's why and this is the cream shop natural cake face sweet cream scented ultra mattifying baking setting powder This is ultra matte translucent It says to set apply with brush or powder puff on top of makeup to bake apply with your brush or sponge over areas You want to concentrate. I don't normally bake anymore I really just set my makeup and that's about it. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one and it says that it leaves behind a flawless and poreless complexion, locking in and elongating makeup wear. It may also be used for baking to create deliciously defined features. So this is what the packaging looks like. Their packaging is really pretty. So it just looks like this. Looks like a little cupcake. All right, I'm gonna take my sponge like usual. You guys know the drill. And I'm going to put it on my face. <laughs> wow. Okay, when it says it makes you look poreless, it definitely is matte, but it's not like a drying matte, it feels like. It feels, I don't know, it feels good. I'm gonna try to do one half of my face and then you guys can see the difference. Set, nothing. Wow, this is really nice. A very smooth powder. All right, let's set this side and give us a poreless finish. It does have a scent, but it really is just lightly scented. It's not like the Too Faced Peach Perfect, which I do love that powder, but it's not as strong as that. So if that's like way too strong for you, this is n nowhere near that strong. First, I thought this wasn't gonna blend well because it kind of seemed like when you put it on your face, it kind of seemed chunky. But as long as you work with it or you use a brush, I just don't use brushes to set my makeup, it'll blend out well. I'm starting to like not be obsessed with the BB cream. I think it's gonna be too dewy for me, but this powder, seems really nice. Definitely did kind of do a little color changing. I feel like I look really light right now. For some reason, my nose looks really red, which is where, I mean, my nose is red like my rosacea, so we'll see how that looks after I do a little bit more blending, but hopefully it's not anything that's gonna show throughout the day. I like the powder. Definitely makes you look lighter though, for sure. Like it definitely changes the color of everything, but it's all nice and set. And now I for sure need bronzer. <laughs> I need some bronzer in my life. So luckily I bought some. This is the Cream Shop PCH Powder Bronzer. I got two shades. I got the color Tiki Beach and Drop Top Convertible. These are really cute names. That's what they look like. These are really cute. I like this. When it's warmer than SoCal Summer Sun, this buildable bronzer can, I'm gonna say can fake a glow, golden glow or effectively contour. I don't know. That's what it looks like. This is really pretty. So this one's in Tiki Beach. And then this one, yeah, this is definitely where my cream bronzer's from because it's like same black packaging with hearts. Okay, so this one's just a little bit more red. This one's a little bit more ashy. This one's PCH, or no, I'm sorry. This is Drop Top Convertible. This one's Tiki Beach. I'm gonna use this one to bronze all over and this one possibly to contour with. I wish CVS would have out like samples kind of like Ulta does so that way people would stop putting their fingers like in the makeup but even at Ulta people still do it even though their sample is like right there. <laughs> 
like testers. I keep saying samples, but just like testers. I like this bronzer. I think it's really pretty. Kind of looking a little crazy because my face is so light from that powder, but I think it can be pretty. I feel like it blends really well. Like you can brush it away pretty easily. And I like the color. This is something I'll definitely use. They obviously know their bronzers because their cream bronzer palette is amazing. So now I'm going to take the drop top convertible and I'm going to do slight contour with this one. Yeah, I like these two. Tiki Beach for bronzing and drop top for contouring for sure. The tones are just perfect for that. All right, now I'm going to contour my nose. I love these bronzers. I am gonna go ahead and take Tiki Beach and I'm gonna toss that into my crease. That way I have a little bit of definition up there and it doesn't get left out. I definitely think these are buildable though. Like the way they're applying eyeshadow wise or like trying to apply as eyeshadow, but they look different on the face. I'm starting to think I'm not gonna love that BB cream. Ultra blendable formula sculpts and shades for picture perfect features. This is the buildable for desired intensity velvety matte finish from the cream shop. So this is a blush palette. I feel like it looks lighter on camera, but it's definitely a little bit darker in person. This was in the shade. I think it's in the shade queen. So let's see. This is pretty. Ooh, okay. This one looks a little weird. Can you guys see that? It's like pink surrounding and then like white on the inside. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Then you have this one. They're both shimmers. Ooh, and then this one's a matte. Oh, I don't know. I don't like shimmer blushes. I didn't really like those shimmer. Okay, I'm gonna take my brush. I'm just gonna dab into this one and this one, like very lightly since it says that they're buildable. And very lightly just hit these cheeks. Oh, I hate shimmer blushes. I hate shimmer blushes. I hate shimmer blushes. But I'm gonna just dip into the matte one more so. I think that they definitely are buildable, but that darkest one for sure has good color payoff, so. So, that's the blush. It's not bad, but I don't like shimmer blushes. I didn't use this one just because I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. Like, I don't know. I did apply those, and I think the darker shade is really pretty, and it is very matte, so I would use that more often, but I'm not obsessed with it. I wouldn't buy it again. The bronzers were $7.99. I love that. I would totally buy these again. The blush was $17.99. Yeah, I would not purchase that again. Now we're going to move on to the powder highlighter. This is kind of hard because their highlighters were like weird colors. There was like a blue one, and there's this one, and then there's another color. This is in the shade Light Years. This one looked really gold in the store. Now that I have it in my hand and I'm swatching it, it looks very pretty. But in store, it looks like yellow gold. The other one was like super blue. I figured I would try this one in in light years because I just it looked the most wearable out of all of them so I'm gonna take my flower beauty brush it does look pretty on my hand and I'm just going to blend this on the skin I think it does look really pretty I think if you were to wear this with that shimmer blush though you're gonna lose where like the highlight is and stuff like it's just gonna look weird it's gonna look like you have highlighted cheeks all over that's just me I do not like shimmer blushes I think this is pretty it's not like glitter and it's not like a super intense gleamy highlight like i do like the way that looks on my chin i do think it's a really pretty highlighter i just don't know if it's like my favorite you know definitely has some shine to it that's for sure maybe with like my regular foundation routine i would like this more just so i know kind of what I'm getting into, but it definitely has a really pretty glow, but I don't like the way it looks on this side. And I use that shimmer blush on this side and I'm not loving it. So it seems okay. This one was, oh, this one was $7.99. So that's not bad for the kind of pigmentation that you have. There's just not a lot of colors. Like I would want one more shade lighter than this. Moving on to brows. There's this swipe right. Love it for swipe brow gel, which I thought was really cute. I got two shades. I got blonde and brown since I went dark with my hair. I'm honestly not sure what color I want to do for my brows. I still love having like a taupey brow, nothing too dark. I do not like dark brows on myself. I mean, I have dark brows naturally, but I don't like making them super dark when I get darker hair. But this says quick drying, long lasting gel simply fills in and shapes for perfectly imperfect brows. So I'm going to take blonde first. You know, sometimes like with the Makeup Revolution one, I'll fill it in first and then fill in with a pencil in any areas that I feel like are just kind of missing out. All right, so it's a little tiny wand. I'll be shocked if this fills in my brows. It doesn't look like the formula would. Okay, okay, it's filling them in. I feel like I would like the Makeup Revolution one more because it just has little fibers in it, so it's gonna fill in just a little bit extra, but it's not terrible. But let me see what this brown looks like on the outer edges, like the tail end of my brow. I would totally use this like for the tail end on my brow and then just fill in like the front areas not bad this is my good brow always always my good brow she does everything i want her to do this is the cream shop macro brow retractable brow pencil and spoolie i got the shade taupe and it looks like the next one that i just 
reviewed in a newer video. Ooh, this is super creamy. Very creamy. It kind of reminds me of like pomade texture. Ooh. I feel like you would run out of this fairly quickly. I do like it. I don't think I've tried a pencil this creamy before. Other than the Catrice pencils are very creamy, but they are thinner. This is definitely thicker. Like I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more to really like get my brows how I want them. But I kind of feel like a little bit would go a long way with this one. Wow. And taupe is like, it's right on the edge for me. Like the kind of color I would want for myself. I'd probably go down just one more shade because I like this inner corner to be quite a bit lighter than the rest of my brows. The brows is pretty good. I still think they're a little, a little too dark, but that's okay. I'm gonna see if I can go over it with that blonde real quick, that blonde color for the brow gel see if it lightens it up because some brow gels that i have do that last thing is lip products they had a lot of really pretty colors i think i picked a good color scheme honestly when i was picking these out so we have a lip liner a matte lipstick and then we have a read my lipstick high pigment long lasting formula pretty for lips that stay put so I'm gonna go in with a lip liner first. This one's in the shade Desert Retreat. And it says, lock it down, a smudge stop lip liner. Sounds good to me. Ooh, this is pretty. This looks expensive. Oh, the brow product is $11.99. This was $9.99, totally worth it in my opinion. I could probably pass on the setting brow product, this one right here, but I love that other one. This is $6.99, so it looks really expensive. I think you have to twist it, but I cannot twist it. Kind of smells like paint maybe? It is creamy. Definitely a light shade, but maybe we can make it work. I don't I don't know about this packaging now that I can't get anything to move on it. Like I could not get the cap off. And now I really think it's a twist up one because I don't see how you would sharpen this. And then this is the same color Desert Retreat My Wand Only Matte Liquid Lipstick. Definitely looks darker than the lip liner. That's a pretty, 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 pretty color. I love that. I'm putting that in my makeup bag. Hopefully it wears well, but I love that color. And then I want to see this one. This is the Creme de la Creme. This is the Read My Lipstick Silky Satin High Pigmented Long Lasting Formula for Pretty Lips That Stay Put. So my lipstick should stay put seriously all day. Oh, this is cute. It's just a little, kind of like an aluminum packaging. Ooh, that looks pretty. <laughs> I think that's pretty. It's one of those lip colors you definitely want to put in the center to make your lips pop. I'm putting that in my makeup, ba makeup bag too because I think that's great. So that's the video. I know we didn't have any eyeshadow products, but they didn't have any in store that I saw at all, but they had eyeshadow primer. So it was a little weird. I'll try out the eyeshadow primer probably in a video where I'm trying out. I have a drugstore eyeshadow palette that I need to try. So I'll probably try those together. But all in all, I love the brow product and the lip products. I think those are like my standouts. Oh, and the bronzer. The bronzer is really, really good too. I would actually use both of these for pretty much any look. I think it gives a really nice bronzy look to the skin. But my least favorites are definitely the BB cream as well as the blush palette. Did not love that. And the highlighter. I like this powder, but I need to try it a little bit more with like my go-to products. I wanna see how it lasts throughout the day because I feel like I'm already getting shiny. I'll definitely keep you guys updated because I feel like it's a good product to smooth out the skin initially but I just need to know how it lasts throughout the day you know what I mean so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said if you tried this brand let me know down below in the comments what you think of them so anywho thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video